Well, here we are. This is the view from the East Coast Trains headquarters on Skeldergate in York. This building, of course, in September was hit by the flood. So far, so good at the moment. We'll wait and watch and see. But the most important story today, uh, as far as East Coast Trains is concerned, problems on the main line to London. John Gelson is spokesperson for East Coast Trains. What's the latest, John? Well, I'm pleased to say, David, in the last few moments we've had some better news just from south of York for passengers travelling between York and London King's Cross. There's been a problem at a bridge uh, just about a, north, a mile north of Doncaster, a location called Door Lane Bridge, um, where the floodwaters in the river, that bridge carries the railway line across, have risen to such a level uh, that Network Rail, who look after the bridges, had to stop all the train movements over that bridge because of concerns about the structural safety of the bridge. Uh, I'm pleased to say that in the last few moments we've got access back to run trains over that bridge with a very slow speed limit of 20 miles per hour, but we can now get trains through there again. Having said that, there's still a lot of disruption out there to train services for the rest of today, as well as the disruption we're having north of York, particularly north of Northallerton, because there's a lot of flooding in the Erryholm area, which is near Croft, between Northallerton and Darlington. So our general advice to passengers remains, please, if you don't have to travel for the rest of today, that's Monday, please don't. Uh, your ticket will be valid for travel on East Coast services tomorrow. If you do have to travel, uh, we are getting some trains, as I say, through between York and Doncaster. There's also the option available uh, to travel via Leeds using East Coast services to Leeds and then Cross Country and Transpennine Express between Leeds and York. Now, if you're in York at the moment, is that Leeds route really viable? Because I saw a tweet about a lot of cancellations on that route as well. Well, again, other operators are having problems in other parts of the country, and obviously trains are being delayed, but everything's being done to get passengers moving by whatever route that we have, including you know whatever trains we are managing to run ourselves and other companies between Leeds and York. But that just reinforces the point that if you don't have to travel today in this awful weather that we're having across North Yorkshire, the advice is please don't travel if you don't have to for today.